morning everyone. It is Wednesday morning. We're going to read together a psalm today which is one of the better known psalms. A lovely psalm, Psalm 19. Let's hear this one together. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The skies display his craftsmanship. Day after day they continue to speak. Night after night they make him known. They speak without a sound or words. Their voice is never heard. Yet their message has gone throughout the earth and their words to all of the worlds. God has made a home in the heavens for the sun. It bursts forth like a radiant bridegroom after his wedding. It rejoices like a great athletic athlete eager to run the race. The sun rises at one end of the heavens and follows its course to the other end. Nothing can hide from its heat. The instructions of the Lord are perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The commandments of the Lord are right, bringing joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are clear, giving insight for living. Reverence for the Lord is pure, lasting forever. The laws of the Lord are true, each one is fair. They are more desirable than gold, even the finest gold. They are sweeter than honey, even honey dripping from the comb. They are a warning to your servants, a great reward for those who obey them. How can I know all the sins lurking in my heart? Cleanse me from these hidden faults. Keep your servant from deliberate sins. Don't let them control me. Then I will be free of guilt and innocent of great sin. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. It's a great psalm, Psalm 19, um, just talking about the wonder of God's creation um, and, and how it declares who God is. Uh, I don't know if you were out the about last night whenever the sun was starting to go down, whenever the sky last night was, was magnificent again. Uh, it was the red sunsets and it was lovely just to see that but whenever you start to see and you really do open your eyes and look at the world that's around us we can see the wonder of what God has done we can see the marvel of his creation um, it's hard to deny that behind all of that is a designing hand that's what Psalm 19 starts up to start says at the start no matter even though the earth that such has no voice and can't speak it screams out to us that God made it and that God is in control and because of that then the second part of the psalm happens starting at verse 7 the instructions of the Lord are perfect reviving the soul the decrees of the Lord are trustworthy and making wise is simple because we can see how good God is in creation then we know we can trust him because we see how perfect he is, how he is able to do all of that, then we know we can trust uh, everything else about him. So much so that the psalmist says, How can I know all the sins lurking in my heart? Cleanse me from these hidden faults. Keep your servant from deliberate sins. The psalmist wants to walk with God. And he wants to walk in the best possible way. Um, without sin in his heart and without turning from God. Wonderful words, simple words, powerful words, as we do think about what God has made. So, are you going to be outside today? Are you going to be sitting out in the garden? Are you going out for a walk at some stage today? Um, are you just going to look out through the window? Whatever you're doing, look around you. Uh, if you're awake early in the morning and, and there's birds living anywhere near you and you hear the bird song, just listen to them as they sing in the morning. Look at how the sun rises and sets. Look at how the, the moon comes up at the opposite end to give us light again. Look at the stars in the sky. Think about how our world revolves around the sun. And how the sun is the centre. And then think about how God wants to be the centre of your life. Giving you warmth and heat. Giving you life. Giving you all the goodness that you need. Let's pray together. Father, thank you 
for your creation. Thank you for us. Thank you for all the animals. Thank you for all the birds and the plants. Thank you for how our world revolves around the sun, how it gives us heat. Lord, you, you planned it all and you planned it perfectly. Thank you for the moon that as it, as it orbits around us, it tides ebb and flow. Lord, just how everything works together, it's amazing. And you made it. And you gave us life that we may look after it. Lord, may that speak to us about our relationship with you. And may we have the desire that our relationship with you would be as perfect as it can be. As we strive to live the life that you want us to. Lord, help us to open our eyes today to your creation. And then, Lord, whenever we can, help us to share that with those who are around us. And share the wonders of what you have done. Thank you, God, that you are perfect and holy. Be with us this day, we pray, in Christ's name. Amen. So there you are, folks. There's your challenge for the day. As I can see the sunlight streaming through the window, as you can see the, re the reflection on my glasses. Uh, we know it's a, it's a lovely day at the minute outside. Um, hey, even if it rains, it's still lovely. That's God watering his creation. Let's just go outside, fill our lungs with fresh air, see what God has given to us, and give thanks to him. May you know his blessing today. Take care. God bless.